Okay. Delightful plural. Um, I had to look at the name of the stamp set. Do you guys ever do that? Like I have to look it up because we have so many different stamp sets and designer series paper. But this is online now, this wonderful paper. And it's so pretty because it has like a watercolor um, effect on one side and this beautiful colors. But I'm not going to actually use these colors. I want to show you it done with um, some blues. And so I'm going to use boho blue, balmy blue, and pecan pie. And I got this inspiration from, I think, the demonstrator planning place. And these are those colors. So I basically did this, you know, L-shaped type of stamping. But years ago, we used to take one piece of cardstock and I went ahead and trimmed it a half inch here. So instead of eight and a half inches, it's eight by 10 and a half. And then I went ahead and scored it down the center right here of both of those. I'm going to stamp all this in one line this way and one line this way, and then make four cards with it. So mine is pretty simple here. And I'm going to just go ahead and use this pecan pie. So I'm just going to do it down all the way here. And it doesn't matter if you go on top of them or not. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other side too. I love this color stamped off too. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the boho blue and the balmy blue. So I'm going to do my bigger flower first. And so this is one card, this is another, this is another. Then the balmy blue is next. And then you just fill in where you haven't stamped, turning it. Okay, now we've got from here, I'm going to take this little leaf here and fill in some areas I want to have more of the other color. So you're just building your scene with the flowers. Or you could go back and decide, I want um, more of the blue or whatever you want. Okay, so we've got that all done. Now I'm going to take this right here, and I've got the markers, boho blue and the um, con pie, and oops, wrong one. And I'm going to splatter that. So I'm going to take this top off, and I'm going to use this to splatter color so it just like leaves all these little spots color so you're like filling it in i don't know if you can can you see that yeah your marker has to be pretty juicy okay so that happened now i'm going to go ahead and stamp the same and i'm going to actually just stamp right on the card i'm just going to turn this i'm going to do thanks on one of them so just Think of it as this is the way that I'm going to do that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do hello friend. I'll do friend first and then hello. How many of you have this stamp set? It's actually a really fun stamp set. Hello friend. Thanks. Happy birthday. And I'll do another. Let's do another happy birthday. Let's see. Okay. So we got that all done. Then we're going to put some embellishments on and I'm just going to go ahead and these ones I really like. They're um, adhesive back sparkle gems and you know, you can never have enough sparkle at least I think. So I'm going to put one big one and two small ones. So this way somebody can make four cards really easily. You're teaching them how to use, you know, they can use any saying set and any stamp set to make this technique work. Now you can go ahead and add ribbon if you want. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I go ahead and cut it on the score mark. Then you've got four card fronts. And I would match up the score mark with your trimmer. So you get it in the right spot. Have any of you ever done this before? Or maybe it's been a long time. Okay, so we've got four cards. 
Now let me show you the ones that. Mm -hmm. So, oh, happy day. And there's different ribbons that I've done. Thank you so, or thanks so much. Thanks so much and with sympathy. So those are basically what I did, but just with a different saying set. 